here is a minute of AGPG River State Chapter meeting held on 5th of March 2023. The meeting started with opening prayers and then the River State Chapter Chairman Reverend Sylvester Purple addressed the House on the visit to Brekete TV and how it went conclusively like he said that Theophilus Ebony of Theobald Global Foundation finally came but debunked and denied giving anybody the authority to collect 250,000 naira for him or his foundation in readiness for disbursement. It was on officially on record on television on Brekete TV after the explanation by the state chairman a member in attendance asked what is the mandate of AGPG in Nigeria. The state chairman, Reverend Sylvester Purple, responded by explaining the purpose of all grand pressure group in Nigeria. He said that basically the group was formed to stop and resist extortion of Nigerians by grand handlers and NGO owners and as a result, most NGO owners are not happy with AGPG because of its ideals and its uh, mandates. He highlighted that some NGOs were already collecting 5,000 naira each from their beneficiaries and cluster heads due to the dem demand of 250,000 naira from Toba Global Foundation. He encouraged everyone not to be afraid that AGPG as a body is for all NGO owners, cluster heads, and all beneficiaries. He said all grand pressure group is to checkmate excesses that has risen in the grand community. And the requested 250,000 naira requested, Tiobat Ebony of the OVA Global Foundation on Brekete. I come again with this please. Tiobat Ebony of the Global Foundation on Brekete TV denied authorizing the collection of 250,000 naira and as such AGPG is saying anyone who has not paid should pay and anyone who has paid should collect proof of payment and send to the all grant pressure group and if the person or the NGO has a means of collecting back their money they should do so without delay. In the meeting, an NGO owner recounted happenings surrounding the 250,000 naira demanded by Theophilus and how they are still asking NGO owners to pay and that NGO owners has no other means than to ask the beneficiaries and cluster heads to raise the money. AGPG cleared the matter on this basis on what has already been explained. A question was raised if UAG has funds to disburse. Your grant pressure group responded to this question by answering that it has been confirmed that UAG has grant to disburse. Mr. Chris further explained that all grant pressure group of Nigeria is maintaining neutrality since they represent everyone and if they are not directly doing anything against UAG, for now, it is because UAG has not collected money from NGO owners for their grants. It was further noted that Tioba Global Foundation does not have any fund for now to disburse, although it is believed that Theophilus is sourcing for a grant and also waiting for UAG disbursement. Therefore, any NGO owner who wants to pay the 250,000 naira should not disburse should not disturb or inconvenience the cluster heads and beneficiaries in the process. All grand pressure group is saying all collecting of money from cluster heads and beneficiaries must stop. Another question was asked by a member in attendance that how many NGOs subscribe to UAG. Mr. Chris of all grand pressure group responded that the all data submitted 
to the Tioba Global Foundation was resubmitted to UAG. The data were handed over to the disbursement committee and there are about 1,200 NGO data that was handed over from Tioba Global Foundation to UAG. But as of now, UAG is working with about 2,000 plus that is because more data were added within this. But the disbursement announcement will clear all this and that is what everyone is waiting for. Another question was asked by a member who asked how sure are we of UAG since it was initially promised that there will be disbursement before election. Mr. Chris of All Grants Pressure Group responded by saying that the assurance of UAG grant is not from Apostle Ken Nwakama, but All Grants Pressure Group national body who has confirmed your authenticity of UAG grant from the government and other persons in the government, that their Reverend Sylvester Purple also added that UAG has money to this board based on personal investigations. He further advised that people should not be following social media updates that they are not always correct. Elder Nobu Karibu said that all grand pressure group should give out a clear directive that all NGOs should not pay the 250,000 Naira being asked for by Tioba Global Foundation. Your grant pressure group replied that the directive has already been given but it was not it but it was noticed that some NGOs are still going behind to pay the money so as a result of that any NGO who is going behind to pay the money should not extort any money from cluster heads or beneficiaries to do so. The NGO owner should pay the money from their personal pocket and if any report comes to all ground pressure group that any beneficiary or cluster head is being extorted to raise money for the reason that all ground pressure group will move against such NGOs. Another question was raised by another member asking why NGOs are drawing back from supporting all grand pressure group in the fight against extortion. Mr. Christopher Grand Pressure Group responded that it is because of selfish reasons and all grand pressure group also sent out a notice that if any NGO during this business starts cutting the money of cluster heads or beneficiaries that it should be reported to all grand pressure group for prompt action and prosecution. My viewers are told this is all we can take for now on this, but uh, maybe we shall continue this on another, you know, round of update. Okay, thanks and God bless for listening. Do well to uh, share this report and bye for now, please. Thanks so much. Bye for now, please.